All right, Cousin Baylor, so this one's for you. So I asked you earlier if you played with a capo or had a capo. I use them all the time. Um, I just love the way that it changes the tone of the guitar. You know, I just think it it, it, it opens up the guitar uh, to me, uh, uh, more possibilities, more tonal possibilities. Even though it's the same chord, it's just moved somewhere else. The strings are, are, are shorter, they, they ring differently. And to me, it just makes it so that it, it just stops it from getting boring, monotonous, or whatever like that. It's just something, another thing that you can do to sound differently on the guitar. Um, anyhow, so, and you move them all over the place. And it's not just for the acoustic. Use it on the electric as well. Um, so here's a, here's a little quick lesson. I, I, so I wrote a song earlier, and I'm going to do it. But before that, I'm going to show you something. So um, leading leading chord tones. Uh, I'm using them in this song. By that I mean that note. You're, you're, it's taking you somewhere. Like you're, you're like, ah, what's next? Same, and it can go up or down, and it's a matter of moving a note, you know, a bass note or uh, any of the other notes in the chord up or down, and it's taking you somewhere. For example, uh, and you hear that's like, ah. Where, where am I going with it next? So that's achieved by, so just an E chord. Say I drop the middle finger, which makes it an E seven because I'm taking the seventh and I'm flatting it. And that's taking me somewhere else. And so I'm gonna go to an A. Now I'm gonna do the same thing with an A and go to an A minor. And that's taking you back to something else. Okay, so I'm using that a lot in this. It's and. Once you get a little bit more advanced, you'll you'll do a lot of that. Okay, so this this song that I'm going to do is one that I wrote, like I said, and it uses that. I'm just I'm changing one note here. I'm changing the bass note from an E to an F sharp, which takes me somewhere else. Okay, and the only other chord in this is uh, an F sharp minor. Instead of playing it as a full bar. I'm gonna leave off that low E string. I do that a lot. Okay, it just gives it more, it gives it more character, depth. Sometimes I play the higher notes, sometimes I don't. Sometimes I'll just play the one or two or three, the ones that I'm holding down. Okay, so the song I'm gonna start off a little bit differently, and I'm gonna sing it in the, um, kind of in the, uh, the flavor of Tom Waits. I love his voice. Um, Faith can't stand it, uh, but I, I just love it. To me, it sounds like he's like it's just he, he either really feels it or it's just. I just think it's cool. I just it, it's something you don't hear all the time. Uh, some people think it's like a shtick, but I'm um, like yeah, I kind of like it. Anyhow, so here you go.
leading tone. Oh, I need her just as much as she wants me. I wonder why she won't stay a little while. Leading tone. So you're feeling like you had room and find a place to call your own. But now you're pinned and all alone, lonely, lost, and far. So yeah, leading tones.